Oops, getting close. Very close to the badges. <laughs> yeah. You can just leave it on that. Leave it on that. No, we can't use that with RGB. Oh, man. Oh, we nearly left out of saturation. <laughs> okay. Maybe we might add a background colour, or maybe just leave it for now. We'll just check to see if we do need it later. Anyway. We got here a CD by a band called The Presets. Okay, The Presets. A synthesizer band, of course. That's what the kind of music I, I like. Synthesizer, computer, sy synthetic stuff, whatever. It sounds cool in my opinion most of the time. Not always, but I like a lot of it. So let's see what size we're going to make this one. Uh. In many ways, I use a photocopier like a synthesizer. It's a really interesting method of working, I find. Because the synthesizer has many controls and variables like a photocopier has, and a photocopier is a lot like a synthesizer, which is interesting. <laughs> and when you get a bunch of synth photocopiers working together, you call it a synth rack, which comes from you know, a lot of synthesizer Mirzos who are serious about their craft will have rack, literally racks of synthesizers and other units and you call it a synth rack or you can call a bunch of photocopiers of different makes and models a synth rack as well but that's more of a slang term it's not literal it's a slang term but it's quite close to literal when you consider that what I'm doing here is using a photocopier in a, in a synthesizer like manner so there you go a bit of background on that anyway this looks interesting. Very yellow. I like it actually. I'm just wondering if we should add, or maybe just keep it as is. I think we'll just call it as is. We'll just get up closer to the to the picture there where the two members of the band are. They look pretty whacked out. <laughs> Used computer graphics. That could be another form of synthesizer as well. Anyway, enough about that. This is good. <laughs> 